Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Cookery Nation. Today we're going to be going over how to make stovetop polenta. It is really simple. We're just going to add our water, then we're going to add our salt, and we're also going to add some baking soda, which is going to help soften up the cornmeal. Go ahead and add your cornmeal. Don't worry about how you mix it in, just dump it all in. Give it a really good whisk. This is what's going to prevent lumps from forming. We're going to turn the heat on high and we're going to continue to stir so that we don't end up with lumps and it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. We're going to wash this carefully because it's going to thicken quickly. Then we're going to turn the heat to its very lowest setting and once it's cooled down a little bit so it's not bubbling quite so strongly, we're going to cover it with a lid. We're going to set timers for three to five minutes and we're going to keep stirring when the timer goes off. And it'll take between 20 and 30 minutes depending on the coarseness of your cornmeal. And just make sure you give it a really good stir digging down to the bottom of the pot so that you know nothing is sticking. Then you're going to get to a point where you're going to want to test it and taste it to see if it's smooth and if it's gritty at all. If it is, just cover the pot and continue cooking. Once you're happy with it, throw in a bit of butter. I use a tablespoon here and it will make it creamy and smooth and delicious. Just pour it into a bowl and if you like, you can add some grated Parmesan to the top. However, this polenta will pair beautifully with anything. Just use this basic recipe and come and visit us at Cookery Nation for other ways to use and flavor this basic polenta recipe.